hey guys it's your girl vanessa here welcome back to my channel if you're returning i want to say a massive thank you for your support i really really appreciate you um thank you so much for watching me and if you're new thanks so much for passing by as well why don't you join the family by just clicking that subscribe button um so today's video is basically me just coloring my hair on camera um, I, I don't know why I even decided to um, record it. I just thought it might be a little bit interesting to some of you guys. Um, for some of you who don't know me, I'm Vanessa. I do hair uh, videos, fitness video, and I throw in sometimes motherhood content as well because I'm a mother of two. Um, so where this video idea came from well should i really say idea to be honest because i actually didn't plan to record this where uh, the idea came from to conroe my hair is basically from a fitness group that i belong to um, one of the ladies there who's a natural asked um, what naturals normally wear their hair uh, when working out um so i thought that's actually quite interesting so obviously i replied saying that i wear my hair in cornrows sometimes i just normally just twist it um and hold it like in a bond um yeah so i just thought it's actually quite interesting that she asked this because i'm pretty sure there is maybe other naturals out there who don't know what to wear the hair uh, oh sorry how to wear the hair to work out or what the best style is and for me personally i've found that conros um work so much better um during workouts because my hair normally gets less um tangled um and also i get less knots you know when you lie down for example to do like crunches like bicycle crunches and things like that when i have um twist a, a twist on for example um, I usually get quite a lot of knots at the back of my head from the constant um, sort of uh, uh, moving of my head and also sometimes even when I sleep like I'll just wake up with um, so much um, knots at the back of my head so that usually is not it's not good because it causes my hair to break a lot um, so I found that cornrows are so much better when it comes to working out just because you don't have to think about your hair after a workout for example and also you're less likely to get um, what's it called to get knots to get tangles in your hair from the sweat and all that um, so yeah I just thought it is quite uh, interesting to just make it for you guys this video it might actually inspire someone who likes to work out or maybe who's on a fitness journey like me to um yeah to come with their hair for their workouts now not only uh is sort of um is not not only is good for uh, what's it called for working out but for me personally it just takes me back um down memory lane you know um i don't know if perhaps you is watching it's from africa i'm from africa hey <laughs> it takes me oh sorry my daughter's making noise it takes me back um to my roots you know like i remember having my hair conroed like almost every single time um growing up i grew up in a house with uh, three girls i've actually yeah no my sister uh, two sisters and me um yeah so i grew up in a house with girls and we used to love love doing our hair like i'm not even kidding guys we used to enjoy doing that especially you know when you're still like learning to convo you're still a beginner um i don't know it just there's just something about constantly practicing you know i remember my sister sometime just sitting me down and getting my convos out the, the trust me these are the convos she did probably like three days ago <laughs> she would get me to put me down get them on done just so she can do them again and and practice you know how to do convos and i promise you guys after this my head would just be so painful like it would be pounding from the constant tugging and pulling and you know <laughs> and i remember i don't know if this happened to you guys but that's what used to happen to me and then 
I'm just gonna go to the uh, bathroom and just pour cold water on it because it would just feel so hot like my scalp would just be on fire um, because she used to do it so tight but hey it's just one of those things that um, unfortunately she had to do to practice and me I remember just conroying a doll you know that's because I was the youngest I wasn't allowed to touch like my eldest head for example so I used to have a doll that I used to practice Conroy on and that's how I learned to Conroy you know um, and I'm actually quite glad that I can actually Conroy today because at least you know I'm not I can't say that I'm perfect at it but I do try and at least I can get my hair done if perhaps I'm in a situation where I can't have someone do my hair for example to be honest actually let me be honest I hate someone else doing my hair like I really have to trust you to let you handle my hair not because I feel like um, my hair is special or anything it's just because I found in the past that most people don't know how to handle um, African hair or Afro hair um, especially because my hair is like 4C it's kind of first of all it's, it's very long and also it's very thick I feel like most people don't have patience when they handle it just because yeah like I said it's just long and it's it, it can drag you know <laughs> like just to do this hair for example it took me I don't know how long it took it took me like ages obviously I was doing it on and off because my baby was always crying so I had to like um, stop in between to sort her out but it took me quite a few hours and I was like in a way I even regretted doing this because yeah it took it took so long and then afterwards I was like even though it's me that did it and I actually didn't do it too tight my scalp was still very painful like it perhaps for the first couple of days it was kind of painful I was like oh god maybe I should just take this down <laughs> um, but anyways that's why I don't like people doing my hair just because yeah i just feel like they just normally can't handle um my hair well and also usually i end up getting quite a lot of breakage because um in in the handling process they just sort of create lots of tangles and they just don't know how to to manage it and me the kind of person that i am i'm not one to kind of be what's the word that i'm looking for um you know i don't want to just come out there and say oh you're tangling my hair a lot you're breaking my hair a lot you know because the person is taking her time to do it even if i'm paying for example um so i'm not one to complain so i'll just usually just go along with it uh but then i, but I probably won't come back <laughs> later because of the experience that i've had um so yeah that's what usually i when i don't get the time to do my hair i love actually having braids on um but when i don't get a chance to do my hair i usually just have it out just you know in twist out or or maybe um two strand twists that are just sort of held together or i don't know in some kind of protective style that's normally how i wear my hair most of the time um when i don't actually get the chance to uh, to con it so yeah i do hope that you find this video satisfying if it took you down memory lane like it did to me um please let me know in the comment section below how you feel maybe um what your experience was in africa maybe or not necessarily in africa even here like how was it uh, having your hair convo or sort of done by your sister or maybe someone that was close to you so essentially what i found a bit challenging conroy my hair it, at this point in time is just because it's just too long first of all and also it's really thick like getting my fingers yeah guys so yeah getting my fingers through was actually a little bit challenging um what i mean is you know like when you're grabbing some hair as you're conroying you can see me there how i'm actually like trying to make sure that i don't get uh, as much nuts or tangles in the process so yeah my hair is just 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My hair is just like I just that's a thing. Like you have to have a lot of patience um, when handling uh, your natural hair in general because yeah, just the texture of it and especially and especially if it's long yeah it, it can take you a while to actually get through one single convo you know um but we eventually uh, managed to do it i actually kept this hairstyle on for about two weeks so far i think i've have it i have it now for two weeks so i'm planning to actually take it down um the third week um and yeah i also recorded a video on how i look after my hair while in this uh, protector style so that's definitely coming up soon um yeah don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification so you don't actually miss that video if you're interested when i upload it um so yeah the other thing as well as you, as you probably have noticed is that my parting is not perfect <laughs> oh god um i think i just have to improve a little bit on parting my hair because it's not it's not the, the neatest for example and also yeah basically it's just not the best but i actually enjoyed this this hairstyle um just because i didn't have to think about my hair for like two weeks or so so far um all i just had to do just yeah just work out make sure it's nice and moisturized and pretty much that's it and i think i will probably do it again um even though it took me quite a long time to do so this is it guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you feel generous enough and yeah it does help me out it really motivates me to make more videos and i'll catch you in my next one thanks for watching bye see you next time